If you can answer these two questions, I will never vote for a Republican again. Would you, Dumbo? Think about it. This could be a chance to convert a Trump supporter once and for all. All I ask is that you really think about your answers because if you're convincing, I will walk away from the GOP today. So you're telling me there's a chance. This video isn't about arguments, debates, or sound bites. It's bringing people to understand the heart of what Democrats truly believe and how it affects the black community. If these questions resonate with you or spark conversation, then that's the goal. So here's what we'll do. As you know, black America still votes disproportionately for the Democrat party. So what I'm gonna do is give you these two questions and after each one, give you some talking points that you can share with family and friends, especially those who are supporting the Democrat party. At the end, I even give you a screenshot that you can print and carry around with you. Let's get into it. Question one, why is it morally right from a strictly biblical point of view for illegals to enter the country, kick blacks to the back of the bus and gain access to everything their ancestors bled, sweat and died to build while their modern black descendants are deprived in the process? Some talking points to consider. A large influx of illegal immigrants lowers wages and increases competition for low-skilled jobs, jobs that historically provide a lifeline for many black Americans. Strain on social services. Undocumented migrants use public services such as schools, health care, and housing assistance, reducing the availability of these services for citizens, including black communities. Political displacement. As the focus shifts to immigration issues, black Americans risk becoming a lower priority on the political agenda. Resources and policy discussions that should address the need of black citizens are redirected. Historical injustice. Black Americans fought for civil rights, yet illegal immigrants gained benefits without contributing to that same struggle, undermining the historical effects of black ancestors. Now, I doubt very seriously that you're going to get past the first question. Well, let's just say you do, and the person who wants to know what question two is, you might as well go ahead and oblige them. Question two, Bill Clinton and others have said that America has a birth rate issue. And it's true that blacks have remained 13% of the population for years without growth while disproportionately accounting for a large share of abortions. So why is it morally right from a strictly biblical point of view for a black person to vote for Democrats who promote abortion as a central part of their platform and support policies that contribute to the stagnation of black population growth? Now, what I'll say here is that we do use from a strictly biblical perspective, you don't have to use that because you could be talking to an atheist, you could be talking to someone else who doesn't really prescribe to biblical truth. But I suggest you keep it in because even if the argument goes to biblical truth, you're still heading down a truthful path and you can't go wrong with the Bible. Here at The Conservative Take, we believe that the Bible is the 100% inerrant word of God. And that's what we stand by. And I think it's be even more powerful if you use that in your arguments because you can't lose if they kind of deviate and try to go down some sort of moral relativism path. My man. Let's continue with some talking points for question two. Population stability. With declining birth rates, maintaining a stable population is crucial for long-term economic health. Black Americans with stagnant population growth are disproportionately affected by this decline. Targeted marketing. Data shows that a large number of abortion clinics, especially those run by Planned Parenthood, who the Democrats champion and fund, are concentrated in or near black neighborhoods, raising concerns about systemic targeting. Introduce them to Margaret Sanger. Planned Parenthood's founder, Margaret Sanger, was a known proponent of eugenics, ideas that sought to limit the growth of certain populations, including 
black Americans. Economic impact. Fewer births mean fewer workers, entrepreneurs, and contributors to the economy, especially within the black community. Each life lost through abortion represents potential human capital and cultural growth. Again, these are practical, real-life examples of issues that affect the black community. And yet Democrats continue to push policies that make this situation much, much worse. So no matter how you slice it, supporting these policies just don't add up. So here's what I recommend. Memorize these questions and or print them out, carry them with you, keep them in your phone, bookmark them somewhere. So when you get into a discussion, especially coming into Thanksgiving or any kind of family gathering, you can bring these out. And if the discussion leads to anything meaningful, we're leaving a link in the description of Bible verses, 20 each roughly, that support all of these questions and how you can say from a biblical point of view, why you are right and why you're going to be on the right side of history and ultimately for America, particularly in this case, black Americans.